So we're here with different farmers, fisher folk, uh, other small food producers, people living in rural areas. Um, I myself am working with uh, on the right to the city, so with different communities and urban areas, and for us this is a really critical discussion because we need to understand not only how cities can be sustainably fed, but how that process can actually help and improve rural areas and rural livelihoods for the small-scale producers that feed most of the world. Creating local food systems uh, inherently reduces the huge problems of food, food waste and loss that the current uh, food system perpetuates, uh, whether it be from big hyper markets and long uh, and connecting producers to very distant markets and so food transport and these other issues. Uh, when you connect to local small-scale agroecological production, you're inherently being less wasteful and, and really um, not only preserving, putting more food into the food system, but you're also uh, contributing to, in, to ensuring that the most marginal, marginalized populations are having access to food on rural and urban side of the food system. Many governments and institutions and researchers are treating urbanization as if it's this inevitable force that one can't be stopped and second can't be coped with. The reason we are not coping with it well is one, that cities are not planned with rural areas in their plan at all. They're not planned on a territorial level and things are operating in, in silos, not cohesive planning. Two, there is no problem with having enough food. Cities are wasting more food than anywhere else in the world, so clearly there's a distribution problem. And there's a problem with giving the smaller uh, agroecological producers access to land, or access to the, the markets inside the cities, so we can inherently create less waste and, and give better access to marginalized populations in rural and urban areas, I think. Um, and I think that this is something actually the city of Milan is, is or not the city of Milan, the, the Milan Food Policy Group is actually really trying to explore and see how that you can, you can actually use the, um, the different facets of the city to the best advantage of the community. But not just the community that can afford to join a CSA or the community that can afford organic agriculture, but to communities that actually want to produce food for themselves or produce food or to deal directly with producers themselves, but in a different kind of relationship that maybe is not so easily understood yet, but it's starting to happen. And I think that in order for that to happen, these discussions need to take place between the local governments. But I don't think the urbanization issue is as much of a challenge as we think it is. I think it's a bit... Um, it's used in the same way that we approach issues like climate smart agriculture, we have climate smart cities. It's just another tactic to push these technical solutions that continue to perpetuate the same models of consumption, the same models of building things, and the same models of urbanization that is harming uh, rural areas and rural livelihoods. But also you see that a lot of times you have these really interesting ideas coming from local governments that uh, are completely ignored because they're not in international processes at all. And they're not given any mandate to carry out international policy. And so even when we have good policy, when there's no communication, there's no way to implement it. So I see this pact and other pro similar processes as the first step towards actually making uh, local governance meaningful.